very, very big question in golf right now, probably on the lips of every golfer. What is a nine iron used for? It's a good question. Nine irons are used for shots that approach the green. You need higher loft, you're gonna come in higher, steeper angle of descent, stop quicker. As long as you know that distance, you can use the nine for what is meant to be used for, approach shots. From the distance, you hit it. So a nine iron is also used for chipping, and that's what makes it so versatile. This is a very common chipping club, and a lot of golfers should give up their 56, their gap, their, their lob wedge around the green, use the lower lofted nine iron. The nine iron is only about 40 to 43 degrees, 44 degrees. Using the nine iron, you remove that ability of the bounce of the whatever of the wedge, the inconsistency of the wedge, the lob wedge, sand wedge, to chunk, to thin, to, to get stuck in the grass. This increases that margin for error to just allow you a little less good of a shot and still get a great result. Because the loft is low enough so that it still pops the ball out, but it also gets the ball rolling. So you don't have to worry about inconsistent spins. And this is what Steve on my channel uses for chipping 98% of the time. The only time he ever uses the 56, he doesn't even own a 60 degree, is when he has to just loft it up a little over something. If you can get around the green and get very good at chipping with a 9-iron, you're going to be a B-yaus at chipping. If you can know your distance for your approach with a 9, you're going to be an approach boss. Another thing you can use your 9-iron for, you know those long bunker shots, 50 yards, 55 yards, 60 yards, you don't know what the hell you're going to do, maybe a 45 yarder. You can actually take the 9. So normally you use a 56 degree from the bunker, you open the face up, you watch my tutorial, you slap it out the sand, whatever. No, no, no. When you have a longer shot and you're thinking, man, I'm never going to get there with a 56 degree loft down. And so you'll go like 25 yards with your 56, you'll go 35 yards with your 52, you'll go 45 yards with your pitching, 55 yards with your 9 iron. It's the same shot. Using the bounce on the club to actually get it out of the bunker, but just because of that lower loft, you slap the sand and the ball still flies out of the bunker because it bounces off the sand nicely, getting that ball flying 55, 45 yards onto the green. The other thing you can use your 9 iron for, I find it's a great loft for picking balls up out of the water. So if you find some golf balls in the water as you're walking, take that 9 out and you can really manipulate the face to kind of push it up or even scoop them up kind of on the club face like that. Now that's another use for the 9 iron, fishing balls out of the water because as we all know, every ball you find in the water is valuable. It's profit. You've paid your green fee, now get profit. Golf balls are profit. Those people lost them, they don't understand, they never owned that golf ball, it was just their turn. And that's the basic crux, nuts and bolts, brass tacks of the 9-iron. I love my 9-iron. Do you love yours?